Welcome to the latest Aviva video podcast. I'm Elaine Bunting from Yachting World, and this week I caught up with Dee as she took a break from what might seem like a strange training routine. She tells us why pumping iron like a bodybuilder, skiing across hills in Bavaria, and climbing up ropes in an army base is going to help her sail the demanding new Aviva. The six weeks that the boat's shipping for is actually going very quickly, but it's really valuable time for me to catch up with my personal um, things I need to do, like see the dentist and the doctor, so that I don't have any problems when I'm at sea, but also get that input from other specialists in different areas, such as climbing the mast, or such as my physical training and preparation for the sailing. The boat itself is a nightmare environment for picking and lifting heavy objects. We have to pull really heavy sails, large sails, from below deck onto deck and then hoist them into the air. And the amount of space we have to manoeuvre ourselves down below is quite cramped, so we're always at strange angles that are very prone to giving us bad backs or bad legs or knees or hips. So what I'm trying to do is strengthen my core stability and in particular my lower back that could be prone to injury. And by deadlifting and squatting large weights, that's really helping the strength in my back as well as my legs that stabilise my body when I'm at sea. Anything with your arms is going to be helpful because that's really where I'm quite weak um, in relation to the rest of my body and it's something that's going to have to get tougher if I'm going to pull those sails to the top of the mast that's now 28 metres high rather than 25, I'm really going to notice the difference. But one thing I have noticed when I'm sailing, reporting back to leads on what areas of my body that I'm using most, is my triceps really fatigue quickly when I'm grinding a lot, when I'm doing lots of tacking. So it's one area we've picked to make sure I develop more than everything else as well. The main focus for my week's visit to Bavaria was to work on my um, cardio fitness. I'm not running as much as I used to be, but it's still important to have that aerobic fitness base in place so that I can deal with the um, non-stop sailing and the kind of physical fatigue that you get. Some aspects of Dee's training are physical and psychological. She admits that climbing the mast freaks her out, so she's taken the advice of a specialist to make it easier. It's a bit of a black magic art climbing the mast on a boat. Nobody has the correct answer. There's no right or wrong answer and everything's very much geared to what works for you as an individual. And in the past we've got lots of advice from people that, other people that do it when they're sailing. Also people that climb and in different environments. But it's a very unique environment being on a mast that's moving around in the middle of the ocean having to go up and down. And I wasn't convinced that I had exactly the right gear to do the job at hand. So I seek the advice of Chips Rafferty, whose specialism is canyoning, who work with single rope techniques going up and down. So it's very similar, although the environment around us is different. And he advised me on the gear that I was using, what gear he would suggest I use, and little techniques that would get me out of trouble. And even with the short afternoon I spent with him, I learned tips and techniques that would have got me out of trouble when I was stuck up the mast on the Aviva Challenge. So I really feel it was beneficial and if nothing else, increased my confidence to go out there and practice and to make it one of those things that I do naturally. I practice sailing, I should practice climbing the mast as well. You can follow Dee's training and her preparation for the Vendée Globe non-stop solo round the world race later this year at www.avivaoceanracing.com.